If you gaze towards the east just before sunrise in early June, you will be treated to a remarkable celestial event, a parade of six planets, some of which will be visible to the naked eye. These planets include Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. During this time, Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, Neptune, and Saturn will align in a straight line near a thin crescent moon. Impressively, all seven other planets will be in the same region of the sky during the first week of June, providing an excellent opportunity for observation. However, proper planning is essential, as timing, dark skies, and a clear view of the horizon are crucial for a successful sighting. Let's start with Saturn, the highest planet in this parade. Saturn rises in the east approximately 90 minutes after midnight local time and shines brightly with a magnitude of 1.18, making it easily visible without a telescope. The magnitude of an object measures its brightness, with lower numbers indicating brighter objects. Under ideal conditions, the human eye can see objects with a magnitude of up to six. Saturn is approaching its opposition, meaning it will appear brighter and rise earlier each evening, becoming visible in the early evening by August. On May 31st, Saturn will be in conjunction with the Moon. The 23-day-old waning crescent moon will pass very close to Saturn, and in some parts of South America, the moon will even pass in front of the ringed planet, creating a stunning lunar occultation. For most of the world, the two celestial bodies will appear extremely close together in the sky. On June 29th, Saturn will enter retrograde motion, appearing to move westward in the sky. In retrograde motion, planets do not actually reverse their paths. Rather, this apparent backward movement results from Earth's faster orbit, making other planets appear to move backward when we pass them. Next in the parade is Mars. Like Saturn, Mars is approaching its closest point to Earth, which will make it significantly brighter in the coming months. Currently, Mars rises around three hours after midnight and is visible in the pre-dawn sky, slightly brighter than Saturn with a reddish hue. On June 3rd, the 25-day-old moon will pass close to Mars in the constellation Pisces, creating another beautiful celestial sight. Mercury, the smallest planet visible to the naked eye, will be close to the eastern horizon. It will be easier to spot in the last few days of May, shining at a magnitude of minus 0.52. However, it will become more challenging to see as it sinks lower in the sky in early June. On June 4th, Mercury will be in conjunction with Jupiter, passing within seven degrees of each other in the constellation Taurus. Since they will be close to the Sun, spotting this conjunction will be tricky. Jupiter. The largest planet will be the most challenging to see as it recently passed behind the Sun. It will take a few days to emerge in the dawn sky after the solar conjunction. Although Jupiter will be shining brightly at a magnitude of minus 1.84, its proximity to the Sun will hide it in the solar glare. However, Jupiter will become an early morning object in the next few weeks. Be cautious while observing Jupiter and avoid using a telescope since it is close to the Sun. Uranus and Neptune, the remaining two planets, can only be seen with a telescope or good binoculars. Uranus, at the edge of the naked eye limit of magnitude 6, will be near Jupiter and Mercury. Neptune will be between Mars and Saturn in the constellation Pisces, visible in the pre-dawn sky. On June 28th, the 22-day-old moon will pass close to Neptune, and in some parts of the world, there will be a lunar occultation of Neptune. The best day to observe this planetary parade is June 4th, when the crescent moon will be between Mars and Mercury, aligning with the planets. Although Venus will be missing from this lineup, look forward to a full planetary alignment on the evening of February 28th, 2025, when all seven other planets will appear in the sky simultaneously. It is important to note that when observing a planetary alignment, it may seem as if the planets are lined up neatly in a straight line. However, this alignment is purely a visual phenomenon from our viewpoint on Earth, and does not mean the planets are physically aligned in the solar system. 
Each planet orbits the Sun at different distances and speeds, and for a planetary alignment to occur visually, the planets simply need to be on the same side of the Sun, within a sector of the sky. This can happen because their orbits bring them into relative positions where they appear to line up from Earth's perspective. During a planet parade, if you look up at the night sky, the planets will appear to form a line or a cluster. However, this does not mean they are in a straight line in space, as depicted in many visualizations of the solar system. The distances between them remain vast, with each planet continuing to follow its own orbital path around the Sun. Therefore, a planetary alignment is a matter of perspective from Earth, where the planets appear close together in the sky, but are not physically aligned in their orbits around the Sun. In addition to the planet parade, there are two more breathtaking cosmic events that might unfold. The first is the stunning display of auroras, similar to what we saw in the first half of May. These auroras were caused by a solar storm from the sunspot group AR 3664, which was 16 times the size of Earth. This sunspot region rotated out of view by mid-May but is expected to reappear and face Earth by the end of May. Based on the past behavior of sunspots, there is a possibility that AR 3664 could remain active when it becomes visible again. Just before it rotated out of view, on May 14th, Arkansas 3664 produced an X8.7 flare the most powerful solar flare in the current solar cycle. This suggests that AR 3664 might still produce more solar flares in the future, indicating its cycle of activity is not over yet. However, this depends on the size and activity level of the group once it emerges from behind the sun. The other exciting event that could occur in June is a once-in-a-lifetime explosion of a star. Earlier this year, NASA announced that we might witness a stellar explosion in the night sky between February and September 2024. This is not related to the anticipated supernova of Betelgeuse, but rather to the impending nova of the TCRB system, which undergoes a nova approximately every 80 years. We have created detailed videos on these astronomical events and where to look in the sky to witness it. If you missed those, be sure to check out videos on our channel and we remind you not to forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already and press the bell icon as well for regular space updates.